Am I the asshole for telling a deaf kid's mom that she's holding her son back? My Jack, 10, is very quiet. He likes to read. He likes the quiet. He likes bright visuals and museums. He didn't speak for a long time. He loves to learn, and he's got a tiny group of friends but he's happy and always looking for more. Jack is autistic and doesn't like much noise. Jack met James at the playground we go to. James is deaf and he's got a serious case of helicopter mom. They waved and talked and ran around before we left and we've been almost every day since and they've seen each other. Because James is deaf and isn't extremely loud and understands that about Jack, they've become very good friends. Jack came to the conclusion that James can read and write like him and so he got a little pen and notebook and he had me put him on YouTube so that he could try and learn some sign language, friend, play, run, would you like to go with me too, hello, and other friendly things. And now they're best friends. Jack recently had the idea that because James can't hear, they have to do things with seeing. We live near a big and beautiful aquarium and Jack had the idea that we could all go together, me and my husband would be with James's parents and they could be actual friends outside of the playground setting. I approached James's mother to ask them yesterday and she informed me that she didn't want the boys to get to close because James is deaf and they don't want him to make too many friends that aren't because he's already at a disadvantage and she doesn't want him to be left out. I informed her that if her son would be going to public school and entering the world, he'd have to get used to being deaf and having all sorts of friends and all she was doing was pushing away the friends that he could be making and being selfish while not looking after what her son wanted. I don't know what happened exactly but I got a call last night from James's father with James screaming in the background and everything has been set up, we're going with him and his wife, stepmom, on Friday and calling it a day. We'll all wear masks and have a nice outing and it's all completely fine. The boys are both extremely excited to go together. I saw his mom at the playground this morning and she was quite aggressive, telling me I should have never set up the play date and involving her ex-husband. I told her that if she only thought of her feelings, there was a reason her son had had to go to his dad to be able to see his friend, and I walked away from her. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole, you handled it calmly on your end and didn't overstep anywhere. The dad stepped up and thankfully did the responsible thing for his son. Not the asshole, although your tone of delivery could swing that a little. Like if you were aggressive, in your face and confrontational with it then very soft arsehole for delivery, not content of what you said. Your son sounds looking a great friend for James. The fact Jack wanted to learn a little sign language to communicate better, and suggested ideas for activities they could both equally enjoy is amazing. James's dad called you to set up the play date. His mum sounds like she has some control issues. Sheltering will hold James back and likely disadvantage him more, which is a real shame. Parents don't like to hear that they might not be doing what's best for their kids, but sometimes they really aren't. Not the asshole and also you're raising a wonderful kid. I don't claim to understand much about the difficulties that deaf and hard of hearing people might run into but I have a couple of deaf friends who have told me about issues they had with overprotective parents like this when they were young. They had such a hard time opening up with me and becoming friends with me because they just weren't used to it without their parents' interference. Keep in mind, deaf culture can be very different from the hearing culture you and I might be used to. Try to be patient as your child may begin to navigate two different cultures in close proximity. Not the asshole but I had to comment. Little Jack sounds so adorable. I love that he decided that because his friend can't hear, they have to do seeing activities. That is so thoughtful and very moving. You are clearly an amazing parent. Not the asshole a kid is a kid disability or not. They deserve the same chance at being a kid with friends as any other and I applaud you for making your child have a normal childhood and for reaching out to this child's other parent and helping him to have a semblance of a childhood as well. That is true parenting. Info. Did James's father contact you and how did he get your information if you just had interactions with his mother? Not the asshole. I'm so sorry that your son has a friend with such an anxious, overprotective mom. I think you did right by your son ensuring that he still can play with his friend, I'm just happy that he still has contact with James. My mom and a friend's mom got into a huge argument and next thing I know, I wasn't allowed to see my friend anymore. This was the best case scenario emo. You're definitely right. As unfortunate as it is, the average world around us is tailored for the hearing able. James is going to have to get used to it and adapt accordingly. By the way, good on you for raising a child considerate enough to pick up ASL. It really should be offered in every school. 
Not the asshole, she sounds weirdly controlling, and negative. Like he will have hearing and non-hearing friends as he grows up, and the fact that Jack is trying to learn some ASL should have warmed her heart. I'm super glad that his dad stepped up, so y'all can have a nice outing with the kids. She has got some nerve trying to turn that into a negative as well. Sounds like his dad is involved, and wants his son to be happy. He has the right to set play dates too. Also, it sounds like you're raising an awesome little boy, and I hope he and James enjoy a lifelong friendship. I have a few friends who are deaf. A lot of the deaf community looks down on people who are friends with hearing folks, at least around here. One of my friends has a cochlear implant and the mother of his daughter is refusing to consider their daughter getting one because it would make her an outcast in the deaf community. My friend just wants her to consider the option because he doesn't want his daughter to be at a disadvantage. This lady sounds like my friend's ex and it's a toxic mentality, emo. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you're right James has to get used to being around people. By the way your son is amazing. Not the asshole. Also, as an autistic adult who really struggled with socialization at Jack's age, this is a really nice post to read. Rock on, supportive parent. Disability solidarity is a really important thing to build. Apologies if it's an inappropriate question, but have you done much work with Jack in general as he grows around different people's different ways of communicating? I could be projecting but I'm kind of wondering if his own experience with socialization is part of what made him so keen to build that relationship with James. I may not have known what autism was at 10 but I had definitely figured out that I was working with something a bit different to most kids at that point, and other, different, kids were usually waaay more relatable once we found each other. I saw his mom at the playground this morning and she was quite aggressive, telling me I should have never set up the play date and involving her ex-husband. I told her that if she only thought of her feelings, there was a reason her son had had to go to his dad to be able to see his friend, and I walked away from her. This. This is why you're absolutely not the asshole. It was never your obligation to look out for James, but you did anyway, and it was to his benefit in the long run. His mother is of the mindset that he should only be with his own kind, which is a sentiment only supported in these instances, and really only because of special pleading. The truth is that you're right, and she's not considering her son's future or feelings, only her own. Not the asshole. She sounds selfish and insecure. The dad is James's other parent, absolutely nothing wrong with him setting up a play date. Not the asshole. You didn't do anything wrong, you are planning an inclusive activity for your son and his friend. James's dad has a much of a right to make play dates as mom does. She can't gatekeep that relationship despite her desire to do so. I don't understand her logic at all. He's at a social disadvantage, so she's going to restrict him further. How does that help James? If she plans on mainstreaming him in school, he has to get used to dealing with hearing people all day. Is James profoundly deaf? Does he have any speech or does he communicate exclusively in ASL? Not the asshole. I worked at a summer camp for kids with disabilities a few summers ago and one week there was a deaf girl in a cabin with all hearing girls. The girl that ended up being closest to her only had one hand, but that didn't stop her from learning how to sign one-handed to talk to her new friend. This is all to say that kids find a way to connect if they want to, and Jack and James sound like they're going to be great friends. Not the asshole. You probably saved that poor kid from a lifetime of enforced loneliness, I'm not saying that other deaf people don't count, not at all. I'm saying I don't believe for a second his mom would have allowed him to gain friends in a setting she wasn't in control of. Info. Do you think it's possible that James's mom is harboring negative, discriminatory feelings towards Jack in particular due to his autism? This doesn't excuse her behavior and makes her way more of the asshole. Obviously, I'm just wondering if her unpleasantness has more layers, like a big hateful onion. Not the asshole, op. Jack sounds delightful, and I'm glad James's father is supportive of their friendship. Not the asshole my daughter didn't learn she was deaf in both ears until she was 13. She taught herself to read lips. All of her friends are hearing. She is as bilateral impaired and wears hearing aids on both sides. In loud places like the store she works at she might not hear someone behind her. She often has people come up behind her and start poking her like she ignored them. She also has had a woman come up and snatch her by the ear, yelling that she was very rude and ignoring a customer that is, until she noticed the ear had a hearing aid in it. With masks though she finds it difficult to wear hearing aids and with others wearing them she can't read lips. 
It's difficult either way. She has been wanting one of those shirts that says I'm not rude, just deaf. Not the asshole but why was James screaming? Was it excitement? And you're right she's just pushing his possible friends and limiting his life. Screaming in a good way? I'm assuming. Not the asshole. You did not overstep at all. You asked mom if she wanted to set up play date. She said no. You didn't sleuth out another guardian. The father called you. If mom has a problem, it's with the dad. Not the asshole. I'd encourage you to also learn some signs. It would be helpful if something happens and he needs to communicate directly with you. Even if it's simple words and phrases. Not the asshole but also info why was James screaming. Like he was upset, or excited. My actual vote is not the asshole if mods get mad. I'm just wanting to clarify that part. Not the asshole. You might have been a little over the top but honest with what you told James's mother. You also didn't go behind her back when his father, the actual custodial parent, contacted you directly to arrange it. Jack sounds like a sweet kid, keep encouraging him to learn sign language with James. Info are James's parents deaf? Is anyone else in his family deaf? Not the asshole, I can't add much more than what other commentators have. But I think the most important thing is how happy your kids are. Might be worth reminding the James mum of this. Not the asshole. And your son sounds like a real sweetheart. Not the asshole. What she is doing is abusive. Not enough cuz would do anything, but it still is terrible. I am glad James has one parent who care about his needs. Not the asshole, and you should make sure to stay in contact with James's dad. Also, if you live in the US, you should check in with your local CIL, Center for Independent Living, to see if there are any kids programs running safely now, or kids programs that will start up post-COVID. I work at my own local CIL for doing just that. EDIT2. Also see if your CIL has something resembling a parent group. My one has a group that basically focuses on making sure the parents end up understanding that if you overprotect your child, you're going to end up hurting them in the long run. I'm not the asshole. I'm glad you're helping encourage the friendship. But you gave a whole lot of honest feedback to another parent in a playground setting. Might wanna be careful with that. It can tip into asshole territory pretty easily. Not the asshole, his mom is absolutely horrible and this poor kid is going to have such a hard time forming friendships if she keeps up that attitude. What is wrong with her? Your son sounds really nice and like a great friend who is more than happy to accommodate for James's needs, which is the exact kind of friend he needs. I approached James's mother to ask them yesterday and she informed me that she didn't want the boys to get to close because James is deaf and they don't want him to make too many friends that aren't because he's already at a disadvantage and she doesn't want him to be left out. She doesn't want him to be left out so she's purposefully refusing to allow him to be included with other kids. That is some weapons grade pretzel logic right there. Not the asshole. As a dyspraxic teenager, you're so NTA. When Jack and James are older they will value having a friend that knows what it's like to have a disability rather than be left feeling like an outsider forever. Not the asshole. As a deaf person, this woman isn't doing the right thing for her son and you handled the situation very well. You are the asshole kind of yes just in your delivery, lol. You could have encouraged her to let the kid make friends and reassured her without calling her selfish. You could have de-escalated the situation by saying the dad reached out to you and you have no way of knowing their relationship so they should work that out themselves instead of commenting on their family dynamic. Better to be kind. You don't know her situation. Not the asshole. After reading how the ex handled it, it's obvious that she is one of those moms who defines herself by all of the attention she gets for having a difficult child that she handles so well. That often leads to these child hostage sort of dynamics, since any hint of the child overcoming the disability is going to take the spotlight off of mom. The only way to help her is to get her to see that he is able to do these things because of the help she already gave him, and her goal is that he won't need her in the future. Not the asshole. I have my degree in American Sign Language and this really infuriates me. The mom isn't doing her son any favors by isolating him. I applaud you encouraging your son to learn ASL. It is such a beautiful language. If you want to laugh, look up Keith Wan. He is a coda, child of a deaf adult, and he is hilarious. He signs all of his comedy, and tells stories from when he was growing up with deaf parents. Cation, their minor swearing. Definitely not, the mum got a real hung up with her son being deaf. 
I'm deaf and went to hearing school. He needs to learn how to cope in both worlds and her pushing her son away from non-deaf people is isolating him. Your son is fab and a fab friend for this little boy. The mum needs to get her head out of the sand she buried herself in over her son's deafness. You'd be surprised how most parents act with their deaf children. You would think it gotten better by now but sadly some parents don't deserve us. I was lucky as my mum was an angel and a fab mum you could ever wish for being a deaf child, she had the two of us. She is definitely an angel in heaven. Not the asshole. Jack sounds like a total sweetheart, you should be proud of him for being so thoughtful. It really shows how wonderful autistic people can be when they get the right support from home. Not the asshole I like Jack. He seems like a cool guy. Not the asshole. James is gonna remember how kindly and normal your son treated him for the rest of his life, and how he even went out of his way to learn sign language to be able to communicate with his friend easier. Huge props to you and your husband for raising what sounds like such a good, caring kid. We need more people to raise their kids like you do. You're doing nothing wrong, the mom sounds like she needs therapy to cope with her child's needs and her own personal issues. I wouldn't even bother with her, just stay cordial for the boy's sake. Not the asshole. And may I say, thank you for the wholesome as fuck story about your son and James. Not the asshole. The mom sounds on the verge of abusive to be honest. I'm deaf, hearing impaired and that would have been really tough as a kid. Sure it's tough to make friends, but James and Jack are already friends. Why limit that and hold back? The mom has got some issues. James is lucky to have his dad. I'd just try to communicate through James's dad and stepmom at this point. Not the asshole and I am so excited for their trip. You have such a thoughtful son who sounds like a wonderful friend. I've been the kid in this situation I have sensory problems and my mom prevented me from getting into friendships with anyone she didn't approve of and didn't let me do things that might overwhelm me. Basically I was isolated until I got to college and had to experience a lot of stuff all at once on my own which was very overwhelming. I think you saying something and setting up the outing will be good for both your child and his friend. The friend will learn that he can depend on his dad to help him become an independent person. Not the asshole this sounds like a wonderful friendship that can only grow stronger as they grow up together, and thank you for protecting it. Not the asshole, and I would like to add that I'm sure your son is going to be a great human being. I smiled when I saw that your son cared for his new friend and even tried to learn a new language so they could get along better. The world will need people like him. Back to the story, I think the friendship would work better if you talk to the father instead, but I don't know how it will work with the daily relationship at the playground. Good luck with his mom. Not the asshole, and I just want to say that I think your son Jack sounds like an incredibly bright, thoughtful, and compassionate little boy. Not the asshole. That's for speaking up for a boy you barely know. He will thank you later. Helicopters, please stay back. You are suffocating your kids. Not the asshole. There's one thing I'm struggling with, deaf people are very loud. Maybe not in the playground, but in a home setting.